Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah once again welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this is the third tutorial of the, the playlist under uh, reflection of light so in the previous video in the second tutorial I explained about uh, the mirror and in this video this is very important to know there are some definitions or the points or the words that we need to know in case of understanding spherical mirror and these terms will be used in this next level in case of lens also uh, for, for solving some mathematical problems so this is very basic uh, terms and we need to know it all so there are eight terms that will, that, that will be discussed here that is pole center of curvature radius of the curvature principal axis secondary axis principal focus, focal length and focal plane. So what is pole? So if I, I make you imagine that this is a huge uh, circle and, uh, and if I say this is the center of the uh, curvature. So this is, the, this is the circle or this is the sphere and if I say that from this point to this point is my area and this one is the silvering surface so if I remove the other part so that will be acting as a concave mirror right so you know this is the concave mirror so if I say again one thing here that this is the another circle and if I say this is the center and and right now, if I say that this part from this part is the key points and I will silvering here, then we will have the convex mirror. So in my previous video, I explained it earlier. So though when that I'm writing in my own hand, so it might not be pretty similar or spherical, but okay, let it be count. So as this convex part is being silvered, then this is the concave mirror and this is the convex mirror because this part will be the reflected part now think about what is the pole as this point is working as a mirror so the middle point of it though I don't know it's like the, the middle point of it will be known as pole the midpoint of the reflectant surface of a spherical mirror is known as pole and that pole is denoted by P. So if I say that M P M prime is a spherical mirror, so P is the pole of the spherical mirror. Similarly here this is the point midpoint apparently. So this is the midpoint. So this is actually the pole. So the pole is the midpoint of the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror. Now center of curvature. So you saw that this point was the center of whole sphere and this point also was the center of this sphere. So this center of this sphere is known as the center of curvature. And this center of curvature is denoted by C, capital C. So this is the center of curvature. So what is curvature? Curvature means you know which is not plane as this is the part of spherical as a sphere it was a sphere first so as this mirror is a part of the sphere so this mirror is known as spherical mirror so as the convex part was doing like a silvering so as it is working as like a concave mirror and this is known as a convex mirror so this point of the center is the center of curvature. Now think about the radius of curvature. So as it was a sphere and it was the point, so the radius of the curvature is this. So it will be the radius of the curvature. So the point joining between the C and P is the radius of the curvature. So you can say the C is the center of curvature and the P is the pole. So here similarly this is P M M prime. So this C P is the radius of the curvature. So we can say 
that CP is the radius radius of curvature curvature now think about the principal axis the principal axis are the axis that a line drawn from the curvature to the pole so that C if any lines coming through they see or the center of curvature to pole of any lines that is this is C and P so when a line drawn here connecting from C to P that is actually the principal axis so from this line is known as the principal axis so what about the secondary axis the secondary axis are that the line that will come through C but not touching P that can be that can be this one also if I draw it that this can be like a connecting point a connecting point from C to this way this is the this is the secondary axis or even this is the secondary axis so you see this line is going through the center of curvature but that is not touching the pole that touching the the reflected surface so any line went through the, the center of curvature and join in the surface that is known as secondary axis. So CP is the radius of curvature. So line through the C and P connecting line is the principal axis. And point through the C and touching the surface of the mirror is known as uh, secondary axis. Think about the principal focus. That is the main point. So for understanding this one, I need to remove this, okay, let it be, okay. So if I join this one like before, so this was the center, so what is the principal focus? Think about a parallel rays, some parallel rays, that is the principal axis, okay, the parallel rays from the principal axis is falling into this mirror so these all lines are the parallel so this one is falling this one this ray and this ray so we are assuming that four rays parallel to the principal axis is falling in the concave mirror and what will happen after reflection after reflection they will converge in a point like this suppose this is like it would be like this it will be like this so when you draw with your with your pencils and compass i think it will be more uh, accurate not like me so it will be like this okay okay so it means that when they're coming back, when they're coming back, all are joining here. I mean, all are passing through a fixed point because after reflection in concave mirror, this is actually converging because these rays are converging together. So as these rays is converging together, this convergent point known as the principal focus and this is expressed by capital F F for focus so F focus so this F is the meeting point of all converging rays after reflection in concave mirror but what about the convex mirror think about here here this way is not is the incident ray incident ray will be this way so think about it so as this is the principal axis as this is the principal axis so suppose this is the principal axis so a mirror which is parallel is coming through this way coming through this way and think about it Suppose this is the incident ray, like before. This is the four incident ray. So now they won't come here like this way. They will be diverging because this is converging. 
converging as because these are all are meeting together but here what will be the phenomenon they will diverging they will be i mean running through from the, each other so when they will be reflecting then it will appear it will appear that they are they are diverging from a single point like this suppose uh, if i draw it like this so it will be like that in this case it will be like that in this case it will be like this and in this case similarly so it means that they are reflecting this way so it will appear like that that this point is the diverging point it will appear like that this rays are diverging from a source of point this is known as principal focus in case of convex mirror and this is very important to remember what is the focus point focal point of the principal focus this is very important the principal focus in case of convex concave and convex mirror i hope you understand the differences between these two figures you see this is a concave and all rays are i mean converging together so when they are converging in a point that is visible so its focus principal focus of concave concave mirror in this case it appears that from focus it's it's like reflecting so that is an imaginary point of uh, of prince of uh, the convex mirror so in this case this is the focus and this is the focus where it will meet together in case of convex convex concave mirror and in this convex mirror it will appear like that it's diverging from the focus so you must remember one thing what is the focal length this is very very important the focal length is the length not from the c from the p so from the pole to the focus that length if i say that this is the concave mirror and this is the p and this is the principal axis this is suppose c this is p and this point is f so the focal length is the length between f and p f and p so fp is the focal length and this focal length or this focal distance is known as pf is equal small f this is very very important focal length or the focal distance is expressed through the small f and this focal length is very important in this total chapters even in case of when we study about lens when we think about the refraction of light on that case also in case of lens we will need to find out this f but here this focal length is very important so the focal length is the length from focus the principal focus to the pole so that distance is known as the focal length or focal distance and most interestingly you must know one thing that that is a part of proof i'll definitely prove it that this f is the midpoint of c and p so if i say this is c and this is p of this part then this f is the midpoint of pc so the distance from f to p and from f to c is same so we can say that cf is equal to fp now you make questions like why okay that is a part of proof and i'll definitely prove it how this f uh, that is proof is f is equal r by 2 what is r r is the radius of the curvature the radius of curvature is expressed by small r and this focal length is expressed by f so when we will find the relations between these two we will have another equations very good equations f is equal r by 2 remember it this is coming so f is equal r by 2 i hope you understand this
focal length. And that focal plane is an imaginary plane that is drawn on the focal point to the perpendicular of the principal axis. So think about it, this is the focus and this is the principal axis. A perpendicular imaginary plane that is actually imagined here, that is the focal plane. And the distance from focus to pole is the uh, the, is actually the focal distance or the focal length. So I hope you understand a very simple explanatory classes of this tutorial. I'm just explaining what are the definitions and what is the concept of this word. You must remember these when we will be thinking about it, when we will be studying this chapter and the next level it's becoming more more enjoyable, it's becoming more interesting part of physics when we'll study about light and when we'll even know these definitions. So what is pole? Pole is P. Pole is the center of the reflections, I mean reflected at the mirror. The center of curvature is C. The radius of the curvature is CP, which is the distance that is expressed by small r. As because it's a part of like, you know that what is the radius of a sphere. So the sphere is a, a circular and then point from the center to the surface. That is actually the radius. So the radius is CP. Principal axis is the axis that is drawn from C to P only. And the secondary axis is from C not to P but to the other surface area. This is secondary axis. The principal focus is very important. This is F in case of concave and this is F which is imaginary divergent rays in case of convex. And the focal length, this one. Focal plane, this one. I hope you understand. If you don't, or if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, anything, write me in the comment sections, or even you can let me know in the in my Facebook pages where Fahad tutorial are there. You can find me in the Facebook. Do let me know your recommendations, your feedback, your comments, your good wishes, bad wishes, whatever. But let me know something your feedback so so that I can understand that how it is working to your academic career. Is it helping or is there anything like that that I don't know? So take care. See you soon in the next class. I'm coming up with the proof that A physical R by two.